now. Because of that, because of all this research, Rotary has developed a new voice and visual identity for us Rotarians. And I'm very proud to tell you, we are the first district in the world to incorporate all these logos. Everything I'm going to show you has been sent to RI and approved. So we are absolutely, even DG Eugene has changed his, uh, his directory cover to accommodate the new changes, okay? So we are definitely the first one in the world to implement all this, and I'm proud to say District 3450 is on top of it. And that's why I wanted to talk to you today to introduce to you the big change. This is your new logo. When you show the wheel, you have to have Rotary on the left side of it. Now don't worry about it, we have a big uh, cat, can you show them the guide? This is in your booklet, and this, we can give you, if there's any, mis and it's very hard to understand because I'm a licensing person, they stipulate certain colors you can use, certain fonts you can use, but don't worry, we will help you with everything. If there's anything you don't understand, come back to us, okay? Cat and I will solve all those issues. So, Rotary International is represented by Rotary and the Wheel. Rotary International District 3450 is simply stated as that way, okay? And the clubs can be put that way. So the Rotary Club of Wan Chai will be simply the same as the Rotary Club of Kowloon Golden Mile. So, on the district level, this is how you represent ourselves. We cannot put down Hong Kong, Macau, Mongolia. If you're going to do that, you've got to put a right here and then mention it or put it separately underneath. This is, and this has all been approved by RI. So everything I'm showing you today has been approved by RI. So how do you use this? Okay, just to give you an idea, your workshop badge is 100% compliant with the new regulations. This is a district project. Then we put down what the project is next to it. This is just an example of somebody who's attending and from the district of 3450. So on your lapel, you have the actual right version of what to use. And the example I'd like to give to you on the district level, I put in Eric, I use Eric as an example. So you can see Rotary District 3450, separation, the Rotary Angel District on the, on the right. You can still use your theme logo. It doesn't go away. The biggest change is the wheel now becomes mono color. And there's certain colors that you can use for the, for the wheel. So let me look at the club level. This is one way that you can represent your club. Rotary Club of Wan Chai, Kowloon Golden Mile, Kowloon Tong, whatever. And this is the other way that you can represent your club. RI prefers the first way. Okay, so I would love to see us standardize and go back to... I'm going too fast, hold on. I'd love us to use this version so that we are consistent, okay? Because RI prefers this, but they've given us an alternative. And this is how we're doing member badges for my club. And we've got it approved, okay? So it's, it, you don't have to do it, I'm just showing you examples so I can give it to you that you can understand on every level how you're supposed to tag yourself. Now, the biggest change is when the logo becomes small, it becomes blurred. So RI has allowed us for the first time to drop international, okay, I'll show it to you. So when the logo becomes small, you can actually, if you look at the right side, you can drop the international. But this is the minimum size you've got to represent Rotary when you use the wheel with the Rotary International inside it on the left, okay, one inch and up. And when it's below one inch, and the minimum size cannot be smaller than half an inch, then you use the logo on the right. I think RI is doing that because they're trying to strengthen our brand, make it uniform, and hopefully control the brand better so we don't see people misusing our brand out there. We need to be consistent. Now, the other thing is, the six areas of focus is the good work we do every single day. RI has mandated that when you talk about the six areas of focus, any one of them, you must show all six of them. Okay, all six of them must be shown and you highlight in the blue color, for instance, your project, the area of focus you're talking about. This is what you gotta do from now on. And they've stipulated the colors you can use, okay, the exact pen tone for the, for the six area of focus and the colors you can use for highlighting, okay? I don't wanna go into detail because there's so many pages of that, but I just wanna roughly give you an indication 
of what they want us to do. Is everybody with me? Yes. 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 Nothing complicated, good. So, how would you show partnerships? Our eyes tackle that. So Rotary, and then Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So Rotary District, and then let's say we are joining with the Lions. You put the Lions on the right side. Okay, so you do this is how you do your project. But Rotary's always gotta come first, and our logo's gotta be consistent. We want our image 100% clear and strong when we go out. So there's gonna be no misuse. There's some big changes coming up. Let's look at Ryla. Okay? They want to solve the problems using acronyms. So when you, before we use this with a wheel, you can't do that anymore. What you need to do is do this. You can use Ryla, but you have to mention what the award is, and you must show Rotary.org separately to show that it's a Rotary project. But no more acronyms, no more misuse of the logo, it's all fixed, okay? That's another big change that they want to incorporate. So, after these changes, it's not only the visual change, it's the message change. The key is we have to be action-oriented. Look at this poster. First of all, you can now use a rotary wheel in a monotone color. And these colors are designated in the, in the, in the, in the licensing guide we've given to you all. Cat, can you raise it up? Okay. So, look at the message. No one in our community should go hungry. With our help, no one will. We're saying powerful statements, powerful messages, and our logo is very strong. So people know what it's all about. You can see what the drive, it explains what the project is, it sends the message of the project and who is doing the project. Very clear, very consistent, very powerful. Another one. They want us to consider to use more powerful infographics. So you can see the use of infographics and charts which make the whole project more powerful. This is a pamphlet for Rotary, okay? So these are general guidelines. I don't want to take another hour to explain it. I've, I've, the, the, the PowerPoint's very long. I've tried to, to try to make it in smaller context to send you the major messages, okay? So what is, the, what, what is what you're trying to do by doing all this? We want you to increase understanding of Rotary. We want to increase membership, increase our impact in the communities, Increase donor support and increase partnerships. The last two are the biggest things that's happening. I've had a conversation with Ravindran, RI trustee, RI director, 2006, 2009, who's being nominated for RI president two years from now. And the emphasis is on the last two. By cleaning up our image, by being more powerful, we're looking to get more donor support and increase partnerships so that we can become much more powerful. So please, my friends, continue to be a Rotary champion, champion, continue to motivate, inspire fellow Rotarians and friends. Thank you so much.